It is a practice me for Disney World. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brianna, and if you're not new, welcome back. Today we are filming a very exciting, exciting video, and it is a pack with me for Disney World. Corey and I do not live anywhere close to Florida. We actually live in Boston, Massachusetts. Packing for Disney World is something that I don't get to do often, but when I get to do it, I am elated and so, so excited. Today we are gonna be packing for my entire trip to Disney World, which I cannot wait. Corey and I, just recently, about a year ago, really got into Disney World. During COVID, we decided that because we couldn't travel internationally, we would take a trip to Disney World. We absolutely loved it, so now we want to go back again. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a full packing list of all the things that I pack for Disney when I go to the parks, and I'm also going to be sharing any tips and tricks that I have that I've learned from my few times over Disney. So without further ado, let's get into start packing for Disney World. For the bags that Corey and I bring to Disney, we both have the care on the bigger size I believe it's called away luggage and I also have the checked bag as well and this is called the large away it is absolutely massive so we will be checking this bag and bringing that with us as well before we get too far into the entire packing process I do want to show you all of my outfits I will have queued up here my most recent Disney holiday inspired outfits video that I just recently did so this is what we are working with what I like to do is take each individual outfit and pile it onto the bed. So there were a few things that I actually went ahead and pre-packed already, as in like put in the bags that they're gonna be packed in. The first is my bras, underwear, and socks. Something that I went ahead and already pre-packed as well was my toiletry bag and my makeup bag. So this is my makeup bag. There is, I would say, a good amount of makeup in here. I use a lighter foundation. I use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation or I use the Sephora Best Skin Ever foundation for when I'm in the park. It's lightweight, it does have some good coverage, and it lasts all day. And then I also already pre-packed my toiletry bag. Just a few things that I always would recommend packing in your toiletry bag or your makeup bag, whatever that might be, is sunscreen. I put on sunscreen every day whether I leave the house or I don't. So especially when I'm in Disney, I always sunscreen under my makeup. It is so important to wear sunscreen every single day. Another toiletry that I bring that's important that I actually will normally put in my park bag is a small travel size deodorant whether you're watching this when masks are or are not required in the parks depending I choose to bring masks into the park for Corey and I that are just the reusable throwaways in the Florida heat wearing makeup and just with the germs and I guess the way that the world is right now I prefer to every few hours after I'm kind of sweaty and gross to so just throw my mask away and grab a new one so another one of the most important things that I'm packing for my Walt Disney World trip is of course all of my holiday and festive mouse ears with all of the outfits that I'll be wearing. For now, the way that I pack them is I just try to lay them on the top in my carry-on just to make sure that they're not as smushed, but they're at least confined in some sort of space. Next, I'm gonna be showing a few things that are not from the outfits that I shared in my what I'll be wearing to Disney this holiday season, but just some extras that I wanna make sure that I have with me while I'm at the resort. And the first thing being my pajamas. Now, I always like to bring really cozy PJs anywhere I go because we are going for the holiday season I am bringing this cute little two-piece set second two pajamas I also like to bring some loungewear I understand we're not really in the room or at the hotel all too much so loungewear is not really needed However, in the morning, if we want to run and grab breakfast, or if I'm the one that in the morning will go grab iced coffee for Corey and I, I am bringing a pair of these black, stretchy, almost like athletic shorts, just to be able to throw on with two tops, both Disney themed. This is a long sleeve, and then I actually am bringing one of my older graphic tees from our last Disney trip to just be able to throw on. And then I also am bringing just your standard black pair of leggings as well. These are even gonna be perfect for me if in the park it gets a little chilly and I wore shorts that day, I can just roll up a pair of leggings, throw them in mine and Corey's park bag, and all is good to go. I do think it is so important to have a sweatshirt with you no matter what time of year that you're traveling to Disney, so I do recommend bringing one. I am bringing my My Oh My Supply Company 
Disney 50th anniversary sweatshirt. It's really lightweight, it's so cute. I will have it linked below. I don't know if it's still in stock, but I will link it. And then I am also bringing one pair just to match with it, these black sweatpants that I can wear either in the morning or at night if me and Corey wanna go for a little walk around the resort. I am not sure how much time that Corey and I will be spending by the pool this trip. It is supposed to be in like the low 80s, like 81 to that like 75 degree weather. So I am gonna be bringing a baby suit that way I can go to the pool if I'd like so I did just bring this little like green triangle top and then I just brought these little high-waisted floral bottoms that are really stretchy and comfortable no matter what time of year I do think it's important to just bring one suit because you never know how hot it will get and you never know if you might want some relaxation by the pool and then I do also bring a beach bag that I just bring to the pool that way I can carry mine and Corey's books sunscreen you know our cover-ups can go in there our magic bands it is just a reusable Magic Kingdom tote bag that I actually got at World of Disney that I just throw all our stuff in. It's easily wrapped up and you can just take it right to the pool or even into the parks if you like. So because I already showed all of you in a totally separate video everything that I am going to be wearing this holiday season, I'm not going to go into too much outfit detail, but what I will show you is just a few extra little essentials that I actually end up throwing in our park bag when we travel to Disney. So let me show you what I'm packing in our park bag. First and foremost, my camera, which I'm filming on currently, so I can't show you, and my Manfrotto tripod. This thing is amazing, so I always bring my tripod and my camera when we travel, along with two portable chargers for both of our phones. That way, God forbid something happens where our phones are dying in the park. And now, with the addition of Genie Plus, we are gonna be on our phones, so I always bring portable chargers with us. The next few things are a little bit more on like the health care, I would say, standpoint. So I always do bring a to-go first aid kit, and then I also always bring the Clorox to-go wipes, and then I also bring wet wipes. So I don't like to wipe my hands with a Clorox wipe because there's just a lot of alcohol, so I do bring one package of wet wipes and one package of Clorox wipes. Next, similar in the healthcare area, I always bring Tums, and you may laugh but when you're at Disney and you're eating churros and Mickey pretzels and fried tater tots and a fried waffle sandwich and food that you're not cooking at home that might not be to your regular diet it is important to have Tums. I also make sure to always keep shout wipe and go little packets in our park bag and next we have one of my absolute favorite things and I do have my phone to show you exactly how it works so I can't take credit for this that I found it because I did not and I always give credit where credit is due and Shannon her Instagram handle is second star collective she's one of my favorite Disney influencers of all time and she found this Mickey ring light on Amazon and I instantly bought it without hesitation it is a Mickey ring light that you can put right over your phone to take your night photos and I mean like look at that light coming off the ring light it's pretty bright and there are a few settings I think it can just get yeah brighter and brighter and then it turns off so you can put this on the front of your phone you can put it going towards the back if you really wanted light for the back of your photos so I am gonna be bringing my cute little Mickey ring light to the park and then I always bring hand sanitizer and because I bring hand sanitizer my hands get really really dry so I do always bring a Bath and Body Works little hand cream and then of course you cannot live without your magic band so I have a magic band Corey has a magic band but this year Corey actually got a puck holder to attach to his Apple watch instead of just wearing the magic band so I'll be wearing the magic band Corey will be wearing just his puck inside a holder on his Apple watch I can link that down below lastly something I keep in my park bag is I have a really strong, not even love-hate, just strict, straight-up hate relationship with paper straws. I bring my own straws to Disney World, and they are reusable, so that is great, and I always bring two sets. So this year, I am bringing my cute little mini straws. You can't really tell too much the design, but basically there's 
little hearts and bows. And then because we are going for the holidays, I of course saw these at Home Goods and they were in need. So I did end up picking up these two really cute little holiday festive straws here that I will also be bringing with me into the parks. Those are just a few things that I will keep in our park bag. I'll also bring a few snacks just to make sure that Corey's constantly fed and in a really good mood and that I have some food in there as well if we just want to grab a quick snack right from out of our park bag. Another thing that I think is so important to bring to the parks, even if I do my hair or I don't, is a baseball hat and it's because that sun can get so hot that you don't necessarily want it all on your face all the time. Corey will normally wear a hat in the park almost every single day. He gets very sunburned very easily. I also always will pack some light... Hi! So, as I have talked to all of you about multiple times, my best friend Casey, who used to be a cast member, just FaceTimed me while I'm filming, so everyone, say hi to Casey! There she is with her little... <laughs> Do you have your cast member pin? Alright, so I just finished up with Casey on FaceTime, so I did lose a little bit of the lighting, so sorry for the lighting change. For our actual park bag, the bag that I use is my Fall Raven smaller size. It's like, I think it might be the medium, and I actually really like this. It is small enough that it is not super heavy. Something else that I always pack for the parks is light jewelry. So I always try to make sure that I have some sort of little gold hoop in or or just a few rings and I actually just recently got this for our trip and it is the Disney and Bobble Bar collaboration and then I also bring a jewelry dish and I put my jewelry in there at night so that it's always safe and just right next to my bedside. Next I just never want to forget my sunglasses and I always bring sunglasses from Amazon because I never want to break any of my you know, more expensive sunglasses at Disney. And then during the summer months, I do bring a fan. Now we are not bringing a fan on our trip this year because it is not going to be too hot during the winter months in Orlando. On Amazon, I bought these reusable little tote pouch bags, I guess you could say. And they are pretty thick. They've got a good width to them. I actually will put a lot of things in here. So our portable chargers, I'll put in here that hand sanitizer, sunscreen, chapstick, my money all those kinds of things that I might need in the parks in our park bag. I think that is it for just everything that I am packing for this current upcoming Disney World trip. So now let's get to organizing and putting everything in the suitcase. I definitely got a little sidetracked with packing because Corey ended up finishing work. I actually had the day off today to pack all of our stuff. We got a ton done. We organized, I repacked, I got some really stuff together. So let me show you what we have packed so far and then we're really gonna be done. So this is what we've got so far. This is Corey's side, but that's my little Bruni. And then these are all my clothes, my PJs, my makeup bag, and my toiletry bag. And then over here is all of our extras. I have some hair tools, our chargers, my sunglasses, some camera things, some us park bag essentials. So now what we're gonna do is pack all of those things over here into my carry-on. We are basically just about fully packed. The last thing that we both have, like I mentioned, is our carry-ons. Corey's actually taking a quick shower right now. So let's get to packing my carry-on. Alrighty, so my carry-on is packed. I have all of my five pairs of ears here. I have some medicine just in case. I have a few just like little trinkety things down there. I have hair accessories and just a few other park essentials like hand sanitizer, lotion, all that kind of stuff in here. My curling iron, both of my Mickey dad hats so that Corey and I can use those at the pool. And then my curling iron and my straightener. And then I can zip that up. And then in here I have my underwear, bras, and socks. And then I am going to put my little Mr. Bear in here, my stuffed animal because he comes with me everywhere. He is going to come in here on this side. These are my park straws. And then that is going to be it for my carry-on. And Corey is going to take the rest of our food and just some extras in his carry-on. On. That is going to conclude packing with me for our upcoming Disney trip. We have just about finished packing everything. Our check bag is packed, our carry-ons are packed, and we are ready to hit the road. So we are so excited for Disney. Please make sure if you have not already to subscribe down below because Disney is right around the corner if you're excited for some holiday videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, happy holidays.